Here's a poem. It's called The New Normal. Lockdown had us knocked down when we couldn't get up. Opening doors with fingers, turning taps on with thumbs. Alcohol gel stinging, wedding bells ringing. Stopped. But the birds did carry on singing louder than they'd ever sang before. In the bluest of skies, a coincidence, I'm not so sure. You see, this lockdown brought a new normal where people left cities to hustle and bustle to be with the sisters and the brothers. Not everyone had that privilege. You could say they had it bad, not being able to see the mum and the dad. And when the world is suddenly quiet without a cloud in sight at times, it almost seemed pointless in the empty skies. With sunshine days came empty space, fighting a different kind of war, playing garden games in our barbecue ways, not knowing how long for. No routines, no scripts for scenes when everything just seemed to stop, it seemed some. Because this new normal, it wasn't the same for everyone. They'd still get up and do the bit just like they'd always done. And Thursday claps for our faultless NHS would go out to all our key workers who day after day did the selfless best. Putting the super in our supermarket workers when beeps on conveyor belts turn to beeps in hospital beds. So we thank our doctors, our nurses who nursed us and all who have served us, to the posties who deliver us, to the takeaways and the drivers who'd feed us, to the cleaners who clean up after us and the waste collectors who empty us, from bus drivers who drove us, to the teachers who taught us, the list goes on. All reflected in windows when skies were so blue, we'd still see the rainbows, reminding us of you. Delivering babies that grandma couldn't hold, only see a photo, just one day old. And for some, it meant that daddy was home for bath time and bedtime, reading stories and hearing all the wishes. For others, it was a, a house party, a faith time, a, a Zoom quiz, catching kisses. Some might call it a slowed down version of life. No nine to five commute, spending quality time with loved ones, but speeding up for others. No hiding under covers when there was work to do. When every day seemed like Sunday, when two metres were respected, when the shopping we ordered, we clicked and collected. When you travel on empty roads at a specified time, knowing the time you get back for that first glass of wine. And who are you fooling? Thinking you're gonna get up at nine, homeschooling. When well, the hangover feel sick turns to star jumps with Joe Wicks. But really? Hats off to the parents and the curers who discovered the special powers, who knew they could keep the kids entertained for hours. In gardens, conveniently cultivated, fences painted, dying roots, digging roots, when our herd became grey and long, when her clippers for men would become an Amazon number one. When we become hung up and not going to pubs, when so many had to do without the loved ones and cur homes. When funerals were restricted to 10, not being able to pay respect to your loved ones and your friends. We can remember this new normal for so many reasons. It couldn't possibly be written in one poem. But let's think ourselves lucky to the people we owe it. For they kept us going when the world turned that little bit slower. It was the sanitised fingers and thumbs that stopped us all from throwing toweling because you did your thing thank you and everybody else did theirs in the greatest respect that they could so that this new normal could help the world carry on the way that it should so when we talk about a new normal we can reflect hopefully say that you did your best to respect and reflect just how big this thing was is and rest in the comfort that the new normal is just a bunch of people doing all that they could. Whoever you are, whatever your status knowing, it was the new normal that saved us.